Hey guys, it's John. I upgraded my camera, as you can probably tell. Hopefully, I decided after five years of using this webcam and a green screen that it was time to move on up to a more professional setup. And to be honest, I'm kind of second guessing myself because this thing's a little too detailed. If you ask me, you can see all these skin blemishes that you couldn't see before with the webcam. You just had to upgrade, didn't you, John? You just had to do it. Well, whatever. We'll try it and see if it works. So anyway, today we're going to be playing a game called The Designer's Curse. This is a new horror game. It's free, and it was notably developed by uh, CB Games, or Christian Blanford, who you may remember from a few years ago, developed a game called Buried Beneath that they made when they were only 13 years old. So they're 15, 16 now, and this is a game that's very much inspired by Amnesia from what I understand, so we're just gonna go ahead and check it out. Start a new game. I felt weird being up here. Feel like I should be down there. What happened? Did we just get thrown in a cell? Okay. Toilet seat physics. That's what I like to see. All right, well, uh, I'm done with this. Oh, I thought I was stuck in here, but apparently not. There's a safe on the ceiling. Huh, I guess that's the exit? Anyway, this is very much inspired by frictional games, you can just tell. That's not a bad thing, though. I'd argue if you're gonna emulate anybody in indie horror, frictional games is uh, not a bad choice. To be honest, they're down there for a really long time. When they started to go insane, that's when Master decided to set up the entertainment room. I mean, I guess he isn't as cold as he seems. The whole point of it was so he could lock the door to the entertainment room if anyone misbehaved, as a sort of collective punishment. It was a strange room, weirdly out of place wallpaper, and that mysterious piano sitting in the end of the room for that crazy one. But hey, it's something. They've got good books too. And listen, note writer, I have no idea what you're talking about right now. You like started mid-sentence. <laughs> what are you talking, an entertainment room? I'll keep you updated on my escape. It may be a little ambitious, However, I'm planning on watching Master enter the code into his study. Oh. When I see it, I'll be sure to leave a note somewhere in the entertainment room for you if you dare to escape as well. I dare to escape. I dare. I want to get out there. I mean, the alternative is sticking around here for eternity, and I'm sure as hell not going to do that. Where's the entertainment room at? Is this it? Because there's a piano in here and art. Lots of entertainment available. <gasps> this has bandages, Novocaine, and Lidocaine. First aid kits can be used in your inventory. Nice. Wait, what's this? Self notes. Write notes here. Hello, me. Cool. I hope a monster shows up so I can do the whole old amnesia thing where I thump him with the box. That was always my favorite thing to do. Uh... Okay, it's kind of... The door is locked and a key is needed. I know it's been added to your notebook. Uh, this looks like a room full of paper. <laughs> Am I mistaken? Oh, it said a note was added. But that's not the note that was added. <laughs> the, okay, notebook. The door at the top of the stairs is locked. Oh, okay. Okay, so we need to have a code to get into this door. The door is forced shut. Hmm. I think you have to force every door shut. <laughs> Isn't that the case? They don't just shut on their own. If they do, I think you've got a big problem. I just noticed at the end of this note, it says the outside world is not as he portrays it, I promise. So I think we might be dealing with a case of mole people here. People have never seen the outside world and are told it's dangerous, perhaps. Okay, is it time to <laughs> sift through the bookshelves for an item, or maybe I play the piano? Oh! 314-216-893. When given information difficult to remember. Oh, that's what the notes are for. 
Okay, now I got it. Instead of hello me, <laughs> let's write out that that number. All right, we've got the number. We're getting out of here. A nine digit code, really? This dude thought that a nine digit code was gonna keep us in here. What an idiot. 314-216-893. Enter. I did it, I escaped. Short game, but... Oh, this isn't the outside world. There's a key. Does that mean monster appears behind me? Hey, I'm making progress in the game. This is, this sounds very amnesia in the background. I think actually the composer of the soundtrack for this game is the amnesia, the Dark Descent composer, which is pretty cool. It definitely sounds like it. All right. Unlock the door with the key. Good, you did what I told you to do. I need a light source of some kind. What was that? I guess the door just slammed shut on its own. Note added to notebook. What is it? Find a way out. Well, yeah. I'm working on it, trust me. Control room. I want control. I like that. How do you get in there? <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, maybe we go in this way. Damn, this is giving me amnesia vibes. I miss the amnesia days on YouTube. Believe it or not, and I like to bring this up, so I may have brought it up before in a previous video that you've seen. Believe it or not, in the early days of Let's Play, Amnesia custom stories, mods, were the hot thing to play. That was like the Fortnite of 2012, as far as hot YouTube content went. It's really strange to look back on, because it's not at all like that now. Uh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this. Do I maybe hide? Is there a hiding spot? I'll hide behind the toilet. He'll never see me. Just make yourself L-shaped. It's okay. He's probably not going to come in here. Can we take a peek at him? I can peek. Where you at? Oh wait, where is he? Where is he? Don't be behind the locker? Let's hide in the locker. Oh, I saw a shadow. Okay, he's really out there. No, I see him. He's hobbling around in the background. Nothing scarier than a hobbling monster. Well, I'm not making any progress in here. I will say, I will say it's it's difficult to open and close the doors in this game. Ooh, 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 ooh. Maybe he'll, maybe he won't look down. How am I supposed to, okay, wait. I bet, oh, it's the old amnesia trick where you go into the room that the monster came out of. That's what we gotta do. Bro, did you go into that room? Oh, stupid idiot. I'm not in there anymore. I was like a long time ago. Here we go, this is where he came from. Control room, release. Oh. The door is forced shut. Is it? Cause it looked like I was moving it. Oh, no. Okay, so I can go into the control room now. We just gotta watch out for this guy. Oh. Oh, there he is. Peek at him. There he is! This thing's spooky. Okay, 
We're, we're so screwed if he if he comes this way. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Bye bye. Control room. Yes, get in, get in, get in. That's it. No, don't open it. <laughs> okay, we're good now. We're good now. Hey, mate. If you're looking for the key to open the lever cabinet in the control room, I simply left the key behind it for you. Thank you. That makes things easier. Also, please get someone to fix those doors. I know the main door down to the slaves area is locked, but in each individual cell, the doors swing a full 180, so there's no lock and no way to stop the prisoners from escaping apart from barricading the door with all those useless boxes I had to bring up. I'm sorry, can we talk about the term the slaves area? Because I think that's great. Also, one of the slaves downstairs was attempting to escape, so he's been sent off with the others. <laughs> idiot. Albert. Hey, Albert, speaking of idiots, who just leaves this incriminating shit lying around, huh? Oh, oh, you're in trouble now, Buster. Let's go. Yeah, I came armed this time. Ow. Okay, the cleaver didn't do anything. <laughs> I see you got caught. Do you know how to crouch? Yeah, I was just... I was having fun. Something that you daren't do in a horror game. Okay, this is my galaxy brain strategy. We're gonna hide right by where he breaks out. And then when he walks right past us, that's when we dart around and we flip that switch. Yeah, keep going. Oh. No, dude, don't, 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 what are you doing? Don't go this way. Okay, this time, keep going. Great job. Okay, good. That was a massive time save. Okay, control room release. We're gonna peek at this dude. I'm peeking at you. Oh, oh! Oh, he can, he can jump over the table. No! 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 I'm too impatient these days. I need to. I need to slow things down. Think back to 2012, before the age of Zoomers. Okay. You wonder why you guys are called Zoomers? Cause you sprint around everywhere. Sometimes you need to sit back and chill out. Like I'm doing right now. I'm chill. I'm cool. This guy's a zoomer. You see how quickly he turned? Probably heard his smartphone vibrate. Someone replied to my comment. He had to go check. Is he coming back this way? There he is, right there. Right there, and then there. That's when we gave him the slip. Ow, oh no. Fuck it, fuck it, what? Okay, well, yeah, why don't you give up? That's right, give up. Oh, the key's behind the cabinet, nice. Unlocks the cabinet with the key, so, wait, 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 what does this do? Hang on, I'm not so sure that I want to flip this. Look at the disemboweled corpse over here. They left the hands, though. They left the hands. Uh... Do I go out there? Ooh! We got some wooden stuff here. Wait, what does this do? Did that open some? Let's, let's just go. Ooh. The West Hall. Let's let's get in there. Nice. Ah, uh, this makes me smile. I just ah, oh, I miss amnesia so much. Penumbra, Black Plague. Those were the days.
Wait, where am I going? <laughs> no, I didn't want to leave the peaceful room. That was some save room ass music going on in there. Whatever. I guess we'll just go down here. It's fine. Hmm. Okay, so there's one cell. Open that door and... Okay. Okay, so there's a key. You know what that means. Yes! Well done, Albert! The key is here! However, you may soon realize that the key to the west hall above the cellar will not be locked. Oh no. Boo-hoo. You must stay locked down here for three days, after all. You've designed the fracken. What? Fracken? What is, what is that word? There's not much I'm going to need from you for a while. If you dare disobey, your family will be taken out of the East Prison Block and straight into the torture chamber. And later you'll be forced to use them as body parts for the creatures. Oh, and if you dare try to escape like last time and attempt contact authorities, I will instantly notice your absence. <laughs> okay, no, 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 hey. Then your family's dead. Oh, all right. There it was. I thought the threat was like, I'm gonna notice it. <laughs> If you dare try to escape, I'm I'm gonna probably know that it's happening. Also, I don't appreciate your comment about the giant window in one of the testing room bedrooms. Huh. Yes, I watch them at night, but only so I can quickly check if they're up to no good. Why are you getting so defensive, man? All the intimidation factor is gone once you're just like, it really hurt my feelings when you were saying bad things about my window. It's my favorite window. I'm developing a new potion for you if you misbehave again. It will temporarily disable the right hemisphere of the brain. And you will not remember any of your creatures. Temporarily. I may need you again. I will force you to go through the halls of this house, having to deal with your own creatures that you designed yourself. Wait. Hmm. That's what's happening right now. Although, I don't currently have a reason to put you through this. Don't give me one. After all. There is a curse in being a designer. He said it. He said the name of the game. So yeah, all that stuff about like temporarily disabling half of your brain. That would have been a whole lot more intimidating if it hadn't come right after like, why'd you shit talk my window? What was wrong with the window though? Okay, well I got the key, so. I like this lion statue, cause like, he's fighting with the snake, I guess, but it's like he can't see out of his right eye, so he's just staring it down with his left. But the snake probably thinks that the lion's stupid and thinks that the snake's over there. It's an interesting battle. I wonder who will come out on top, the snake or the lion? I don't know. I'm not really that invested, actually. I'm a Fairweather fan, I'll root for Whoever's gonna win. Hey, what's this? Maybe I should read it before I go through. Mm. A big rock. That's odd. Oh, it's a it's a pull, not a push. Well, well hello there. There's a tiny ass note here. C, zero. Wait, there's rocks outside? Are we underground? I can hear the faint sound of rain though. Hmm, very odd. Uh, a little dark in here, what's this? Picked up lantern. Ooh, you can view oil level and in inventory. That's nice. A, one, okay, well. I'll put this in my self notes. A one. All right, so we got C zero A one. Nice. Oh, this is the oil remaining. Oops, this is not. I don't have that much. I need to get more oil. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? That dude didn't have any arms. I want this. B9. Got it. 
be uh, nine. There we go. And I'm running out of oil. We need to. Okay, wait. What's this? What's this? Oh, it's four digits. I've only got three of them. I've only got three of them. Am I gonna get a fourth one? D two. Okay, I got this. Doors four shut. Okay. D two, huh? Okay. So one nine zero two. So nineteen oh two. Yeah. Ooh, it's the designer's room too. VIP. Yeah, nice try, idiot. It locked behind me as I came in. Oh, oh, they were locking the door. I thought they were trying to get in. <laughs> they failed. Oh my god, okay. 3rd of August. Initially, I was puzzled by the hall outside this guest room being riddled with rocks and wondered how it could be that the West Hall is clearly above ground, but this area on the same floor appears to be underground. I was told this was due to the mansion being on a steep hill, which makes sense. This sounds like a lie to me. I do not feel safe. Areas of the study are collapsing and filled with rocks and dirt from above. How do I know this will not fall on me when I'm creating the creatures? Or even worse, sleeping! <laughs> Master will simply come find me and bring me to the torch rooms if I dare complain. I am terrified for my life. On the bright side, I put together the new torture monster for Master last week, the Fraken. So I was given a bed. She is perfectly capable of attacking due to the sharp blades in her left knuckles. Unlike the other creature, Spiky, who attacks the prisoners with teeth-like fingers. Oh wait. Unlike the other creature, okay. However, the woman who modeled the head of the Fraken had her eye removed during torture. <laughs> it wasn't like a necessary surgery or anything. It was, it was torture. It was pleasure, not business. Therefore, she may have depth issues when attacking and will not be entirely accurate. I gave her the husband's strong legs so she will be fast though. Do I find it messed up to be taking people's family members in which my master has grudges against and turning them into horrifying creatures? Yes. Is it better than dying? I previously thought so, but now I feel I should end my life. Oh, okay. <laughs> As the Fraken came into my room again last night, and I feel I have no reason to go on living. Wait, they came into your room? Wait, you're just, wait hang on, you're just gonna end the story there? The Fraken came into my room last night, and I feel I have no reason to go on living. Well, what did they do? I mean, if you don't want to go on living, it seems like that's a good recipe to solve the problem. Like, how did you live through that? The door is forced shut. Oh, okay, I see. So we gotta find another key. Uh-huh. Guys, I found something. Oh, come on. No. I want you to, yeah, that's right, come on. Come with me, we're going through the trap door. Let's go. Oh. Testing area below, thank you, red text. No, stop that. Let me, just let me down there, okay. We're going to the testing area. Although, I can't help but wonder, where's the slaves area? It was mentioned in the brochure, and I really wanted to check it out. Ooh. Oh. Okay, yeah. Testing room. Freakin' dispatched. Oh. Odor oil below. Apply to body and clothes and you will not be noticed. More text on the wall. Remember when you forgot to put them here? Well, now I've returned the favor. How are you going to cope? Oh, no. P.S. The key for the cabinet is somewhere in the test hall. Sorry, not sorry. Who are you? Who's writing this to me? Do I just press it? Oh, there's no oil. Oh, so I just gotta go in. Oh, we're just out in the open, aren't we? I'm, I'm crouching. I'm trying to stay hidden. But where is the freaking? Bro, what's this? Oh, it's a key. I'm gonna hide behind the pillar. Cabinet key.
cabinet key for what? Which cabinet? Wait, did I see it? Oh, I see it. I see it. It's over there. It's over there. Oh. No, don't come over here. Okay, yeah, this thing. This thing is a big troublemaker over here. Let's just go backwards. Safe strategy. Okay. Okay, go this way. Oh my god, my lantern was on that whole time. Good thing the Franken's not too bright. Am I right, guys? No, I didn't, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to say that about you. I'm sorry. I'm so, where is the cabinet? <laughs> there's a cabinet around. Ah, there's a cabinet. Ah! <laughs> oh, I thought I could game it. <laughs> uh, stay hidden. I was trying. I'm not an idiot. What if we come out all cocky and just like, eh. I know where the key is, right here. And I think I'll just walk. Oh, okay, that's not gonna, that doesn't work, as it turns out. So like, oh, oh. So like, once the thing's after you, then, then what? Oh. Mm. I think it's like right back here. It's where the cabinet is. Yeah. Ooh, going into the next area. We're done with you, freaking. That's a creepy little drawing. Uh, let's go in there. I'm sorry, wait. Who was snickering at me? Uh, hi. Oh, 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 oh. My God. Close it. Okay, we're good. Are you liking that big gap? Somebody's trolling me. I think the gap should be slightly bigger. Because I can't see the monster. Hmm. Don't you have anything better to do right now? Do they not have TV down here? Oh, okay. They left. Let me out of here. Yeah. I don't know. Opening the doors is the main problem I have with the game so far. So wait, what did we come in here for? He knocked the door down. Or it knocked the door down, I don't know. It's kind of two people, right? We're going to the East Prison Block. Oh! Oh, that's the end of chapter one. Oh, okay. It is the Amnesia and Soma composer. That's awesome. That's really cool. All right, well, keeping in mind that this game was uh, developed by a 15-year-old, uh, very cool. Hey, there's me. I'm on the special thanks. Great. Uh, yeah, so talking about the game, it is very inspired by amnesia, which like I said, it's not a bad thing to want to emulate a uh, Frictional Games product, definitely. And you know, I think for a game very early on in one's development career, you know, it's not a bad idea to think to yourself, I think I want to make an amnesia. 
I didn't want to make an amnesia light game. Um, but I, I, I think it may be like a little too close in some areas. But I like the level design and I like the monsters and um, I'm not totally sure I understand what's going on in the story, so I'm just not gonna comment on, on that part of things, but yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty cool for a free game made by a 15-year-old kid. That's awesome. I can't help but notice the star in the lower left. Very FNAF. I like it. Extras. Creature development. Spiky. Oh! <laughs> That's pretty neat. So you can go through... You can go through progress images. Oh, that's cool. That's really neat. I wish more games had stuff like this, to be honest. Oh, the Freakin' only has two steps. Not, not a whole lot of progress images there. Neat, though. Anyway, the designer's curse. Not bad. I like that it's free. It's better than a lot of the paid games that I see on Steam, but it shouldn't be a paid game. So, very wise choice to make this a free game. Uh, it is episodic, which I knew, but I didn't think that uh, chapter one would end right there. So I guess we'll have to stay tuned for chapter two and beyond. I'll be interested to see where this goes. Let me know what you guys thought about the designer's curse. And again, if you want to follow the game's development, you can click on the link down below to visit the Itch.io page. And, you know, while we're giving opinions, what do you guys think about the new camera, the new setup? Uh, I know it's real different. I've been doing the green screen thing for, like I said, five years. And uh, I gotta say, I really like having things in my office again and not having that big old green screen taking up space in here. Plus, I think it just looks... Looks kind of nice. The soft focus and everything. And if you're curious what I'm using, the camera is the Canon 80D, and the lens that I'm using right now is the 50 millimeter uh, 1.8, which is often nicknamed the Nifty 50, as I found out while researching. So I'm really happy with it, and uh, I'm hoping to use it at least for a while and just see how it works out. But yeah, let me know what you think about this in the comments and. I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically. Hey guys, if you enjoyed The Designer's Curse, I'd also recommend checking out their previous game, Buried Beneath. And if you like Amnesia Likes, I'd also recommend The Warden, which I played during a charity live stream. Links at the end of the video.